Hey guys, your tech admin here, and this is the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm sure you've already heard of the Switch, so I'm not going to be talking about the console itself, but instead I'm going to be focusing on the Joy Cons, and not just the Joy Cons, but the Joy Cons in relation to the Joy Con straps, which are these little guys. Uh, so, on the normal console, you have on the back release buttons on each Joy Con, and if you press these in, the Joy Cons slide very easily off. The same thing on the other side. And it's the same deal with the Joy-Con uh, grip here. You, really, you press the buttons on the back and the Joy-Cons slide out very easily. Almost effortlessly, you could say. Uh, very well designed, good mechanism by Nintendo. And then there's the Joy-Con straps. Uh, there's been a bit of a fuss over these because, well, a few reasons. The first one being that you can actually put these on the wrong way like this and if you do they tend to get uh, pretty stuck they're hard to get off uh, what I like to remember when I'm working with these is um, if you can't see if you're in lighting condition that doesn't allow you to see the little plus on the strap itself I always remember that the strap goes on top of the Joy-Con so it always comes from above never below if you're going below you're going the wrong way so if the Joy-Con uh, is facing you you're gonna go up above it and that will allow you to slide the straps on. And they will always be in the correct orientation if you do it that way. Uh, but what I really want to talk about is getting the Joy-Con straps off because if you don't know exactly how it works, it's a bit of a pain. Uh, so your natural assumption would be in order to remove this, we're going to have to press the release button on the Joy-Con and slide the strap off, which is kind of difficult to do. You can see I did it there. Uh, but it's it's not an easy smooth action like it is when you're removing it from the the Joy-Con grip or the actual switch itself. So uh, what I'm going to do now is explain exactly how to do it and if you follow these uh, steps it'll make removing your Joy-Con straps very very easy. When I first got the straps I uh, I put them on the Joy-Cons and I wrestled with them for about 10 minutes trying to get them back off. I just couldn't believe that Nintendo designed something so horribly that it was that hard to get it off. Uh, but it turns out that's entirely not true. And the only downfall to this is Nintendo didn't include good instructions for how to remove the straps. If they would have done that, then we would have been fine because Nintendo thought of this. They realized that trying to press this button here and remove the strap at the same time was going to be a difficult thing to do. So they worked around that by making it so that this locking mechanism does not work when the straps are on. This being pressed in has no bearing on the straps release or not. What actually makes a difference is that little guy down there. That little white tab is actually the lock for the strap. And with the strap, this locking mechanism here does not do anything. Only this one. So when you know that, it makes it a ton easier to get off because you can unlock there. You don't have to bother with trying to hold down the button and kind of awkwardly grip it and just very easily slide it off. And it works with both of these. Of course. Slides right off. It's super easy. It's still not as easy as something like the Joy-Con grip, but it's very, very easy in comparison to uh, trying to press the button and, and like awkwardly push up on it like that. You don't need to press the button. Just the switch. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Just the switch. Uh, but yeah, I just I haven't heard anybody mention that yet. I've, I've seen a couple of videos of people complaining about the, the Joy-Con straps and how annoying they are to remove. And I actually believe that they were just that annoying to remove and maybe they'd break in over time. But uh, after fiddling around with them for quite a while, I made the discovery that this locking mechanism on the Joy-Con does not work when you're using the straps. Only the locking mechanism built into the tab on the bottom. So it makes it very easy, almost effortless to remove, just like that. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, take it easy.